Hey Brent Tech here where tech is made simple. So currently in the stable version of Windows 11 version 23H2. If we head over to the system power and battery page. We have this power mode that lets you optimize your device based on power use and performance. And you can use best power efficiency, balanced and best performance. I like to keep it on best performance because this laptop is seldom used as a laptop. It does stay plugged in and using AC 99.9% .9 of the time for the purpose of this channel. Now, in regards to the power mode, yesterday Microsoft rolled out the latest Canary channel build 26252, which I posted on and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like to check out what's new in that build. And although Microsoft did roll out a couple of new improvements, there is one undocumented change, which once again is a hidden feature, which has been spotted by Phantom of Earth over on X. And hidden features are code that Microsoft is working on internally and haven't yet enabled yet in the OS. Now, if we head over to a screenshot provided, here we can see something interesting, that um, you get the ability now to set different power modes for your device for when it's plugged in and when it's on battery, which isn't available as yet in the stable. And I think this is a very nice move in the right direction. So you can set when plugged in, so that's obviously using AC. You can, as an example, put that to best performance. And then on battery, um, you could choose a better power saving mode and that's not available as yet uh, in the stable version. So I think this is one of those small, what I call small but yet significant changes. And I certainly hope that this does roll out to an up and coming stable version. So I just wanted to put it out there. Um, this is a new hidden feature spotted in build 26252. And I'll keep my eye on this. And if anything changes regarding this or it does make its way into stable, as always, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.